Write your tomorrow on paper and watch yourself live in that reality. This is why many people's prayer in Africa becomes a waste of energy. I say this sincerely. I'm a man of prayer. You see that? But for the average person who is praying, they pray making the mistake that is in Acts chapter 12 because they were praying that Peter should be released and they had no idea how the liberty looked like. The Bible says on account of their prayer, an angel came home, brought Peter out. Peter now came and knocked the door. When they opened, this was their answer. They said, no, it's his angel. They shut the door again and kept praying. Peter had to knock and say, are you okay? What were you praying for then? How do you pray so much that your answer comes and you do not know? Learn this. After this service, you should come and thank your pastor. This is what happens in a conference. Vision. I learned this years ago. I would write before phones came out. I would put pieces of paper and write dreams and put it in my pocket. Bring it out and look at it. All right. I said, I'm going to buy a book. Total of 1,000 Naira. What do I have home and abroad? Five Naira. God is faithful. There is a vision. There is God. There's a willing hand to receive. Mysteriously, the power of God seems to honor vision. That when people put things on ground, if you are waiting until you have the resources, you will never do anything worthwhile. Did you hear what I said? If you are waiting, and by resources, I don't just mean money. For as long as there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. Capacity increased the potential of the oil. There was nothing wrong with the oil. The oil had to remain assuming the shape of the vessel carrying it. Hallelujah. As for me, I made up my mind that there is no nation and there is no individual born of a woman that I will stand before and feel ashamed of myself. I will be inspired. I will be challenged but not at the detriment of my self-worth it was a vision i gave myself and that vision will sponsor the energy to develop yourself that even when men are clapping god refers you back to the vision and you see how far of that standard you are and then you keep pressing the reason why people settle down is because they never had a template so anything higher than where you were looks like an, a place that is worth being called a destination you would always hear me say it and I've told my people compared to where God is taking us we're only one step out of the cave I was so blessed when the man of God came and was stretching the church and telling them that this was a manger to the next level I pray and hope that you believe that hallelujah when we started looking for land for ministry I have I have in my office the map of the whole abuja the whole abuja said so bring it for i'm not talking of the summarized map map that is as long as a carpet fold it and place it there there is nobody there's nobody that says you cannot land originally belongs to god everybody met land and according to god's word it says the increase of the earth is for all and that even the king is fed by that which comes from the field that means there is a portion for everyone god is a god of portions whether you step into your portion or not is your own concern believe what i'm telling you every one of you here there is a portion for you god is a god of portions are we together but there are giants on every mountain don't forget so when you are drawing that map if you draw an empty one by faith that means you have you have found a way of dealing with those giants look at how those guys were sharing lands you read the bible you say these israelites were stubborn people they were allocating lands as if it was empty they were giants there imagine as a giant you are sleeping and they are sharing your land you this tribe here is your own this other one take this one this other one take ah uh, i think this land you can take this one they are giants but not a concern you take this i prophesy to someone here in the name of jesus every manifestation of mediocrity that has kept you small that you will not enlarge and do much for the kingdom may your faith be enlarged and expanded in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please sit down 
there are few camp grounds by the grace of God that have not visited in this nation camp grounds that belong to ministries have had the honor of ministering across almost every major denomination in this nation and when I go to visit I don't just go as a man of God I'm a man of God in the afternoon when all the protocol go when they all go back home I now become a wise student of destiny in the night I come out when everybody has gone to sleep and sometimes I walk around these campgrounds Lord what did you show these people how did they believe who signed the register that members will come which bank gave them a guarantee that you just keep dreaming bigger will come the signs follow they don't go before if you don't have a vision the signs will never follow you hallelujah is God expanding you remember we're doing part two now this is the school of faith most people pray but they pray without vision every time I study Acts chapter 12 I'm really very disturbed how a corporate people came together they were praying I, I wish I would be taken in a vision to that scenery let me watch what they were saying God you are El Shaddai release Peter we kept quiet and James died we will not keep quiet over Peter do you agree yes oh yeah pray and then they began to pray and the angel of the Lord came in response to that prayer brings Peter out oh Peter is rejoicing and then he knocks the door in the midst of hot prayer that is going on he opens the door the time to say let's give thanks that he has arrived they open and say impossible no you can't it can't be you how did you leave the prison no sound we didn't close the door and say let's keep praying vision vision helps you recognize your answer vision helps you recognize your answer vision helps you recognize your answer you need to know what your answer looks like what does it look like what does increase look like based on scripture what does progress look like based on scripture what does restoration look like based on scripture what does joy look like so when you sing and pray things like he's turned my morning into dancing my sorrow to joy what does sorrow look like and what does joy look like how do you know the difference i have to rush number three the school of faith jesus is someone learning so when you have an encounter with God learning his integrity and his ability number two is clearly defined expectations that are in line with the will of God can I give you number three the third key to manifesting Bible faith according to scripture now please listen this is again an area where many sincere believers miss out in manifesting the, the faith equation the third key is an understanding of the demands and the requirements to manifest their expectations an understanding of the demands the requirements listen carefully every faith process will always demand that you walk in partnership with the word of god there is always a role an understanding of the demands the requirements you must fulfill to commit god to perform you see this now many this is where with all due respect especially the charismatic circles most people believe that the moment you find what god has said it must come to pass no sir no sir no sir no sir midwife in prophecy and manifestation is a role that every responsible believer has to play there is always something you do as a commitment of your faith are we together you must know it first before you do it an understanding of the demands this is the assignment of meditation your meditation is not complete until your role in manifesting your expectation is revealed to you the purpose of meditation is not just to know what God can do but to find your place in committing God until your role is found your meditation is not complete are we together John chapter 2 and verse 5 we read the 11th verse earlier on but let's see what happened so now the wine is finished are we together 
the wine is finished and then the people there's no wine and they came to jesus and jesus said woman what i mean why have you brought it's not yet my time and she made a profound statement the mother saith unto the servants if it is a miracle you desire to see if it's the power of god you want to see there will always be something and he said make sure you listen because among the many things that will happen for water to turn to wine or for wine to be made manifest there is something he will tell you whatsoever he saith unto you not just hear it not just recite it he says do it he says now that ye know these things happy blessed are you if you do them is someone learning and understanding so there are many believers who stop at knowing what God can do no doubt and then sometimes they just fold themselves and say I know God will do it without knowing the participatory role they have to play you read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation the only exception were dead people and even among the people who were dead there were those who were alive that played a role of responsibility the only person who no man participated in bringing him alive was Jesus himself. Every other person who came back to life, watch this now, there was something that placed a demand. There was a demand. There was a demand. It was always in the presence of men that that resurrection happened. It was only Jesus. Are we together now? Who resurrected by the glory of the Father. No man played a role in his resurrection. Do you know what you need to do to produce that dimension of prosperity promise that dimension of healing promise so this is how it works this is how it works lend me your attention the the kingdom is a compendium of limitless possibilities but for every possibility in this kingdom number one there is a mystery that governs its manifestation and within that mystery is a commitment there is something the believer must do are we together so you want to be healed for instance there is a mystery in the kingdom that releases the healing anointing are we together in learning that mystery you will always find the role you have to play the key to being healed according to scripture is the hearing of faith every time healing is to happen there first is the hearing of faith and then you listen for spirit inspired instructions upon acting on those instructions even if you were among the ten lepers the bible says as they went as they went nine suddenly found out that healing happened one returned back to be thankful and then he was made whole so the person who does not have the patience to receive the hearing of faith will most likely not see miracles manifest and the one who hears but is cold and not faith-filled to take steps how do you see someone who has never walked and said get up pick your mat it is a relatives come and help him you stand up by yourself lame from birth Pick up your mat and walk away. Many believers do not understand that there are demands. There are demands. There are times you will say, Lord, I want to rise to higher levels of finances. I want to rise to higher levels of grace. And whilst you are praying, now you have a revelation that God is able to do all things. El Shaddai, you have a clear vision. You see yourself lending to nations, blessing the program of God, you know, and so on and so forth. Walking in abundance or in blessings or in the anointing, whatever it is that you desire. Then the next thing is to find out what is my commitment. For instance, Lord, I desire higher levels of spiritual power. Now you consult with the word because the word is the compendium of the wisdom of God. What are the keys in scripture that control the manifestation of superior levels of power? You can take a study on Jesus. He was never born with power. So what happened? What transited the ordinary carpenter's son? to become one who was filled with the spirit without measure you now begin to study those moments and you would see things that he did that even after his baptism you see the foundation for jesus's ministry to become a person of power was he invested 18 years of his growth period learning the word that was where he started before the issue of anointing came into the scene from age 12 
he started studying scripture it is written when he was filled with it is written by age 30 he now went to john submitting to authority are you seeing that now and then as wonderful as jesus is and as powerful the son of god as he is and he was he walked under a, a close heaven it took a prophet to open his heavens now you are learning the keys that the word incarnate can still walk under a close heaven and when john prayed for him the holy ghost came upon him and the bible says jesus went to the wilderness so you are putting the keys together the responsibility as a teenager of learning the word now when you want to be anointed you see that timing matters in your paying attention to the things of god because it takes time to build capacity by the word from age 12 even for jesus it took him 18 years to be prepared to receive that anointing the same formula he used for the disciples the ratio of teaching to impartation was three and a half years to one day many people reverse the process they have almost zero word and yet they have gallons of anointing oil i'm not being sarcastic now you you pour the oil on your head and you find out that it does not work that way it's the abundance of the word that qualifies you for the ministry of the spirit this is always the formula that produces the kind of anointing that produces results now jesus fasted jesus prayed you see that now so you take that responsibility in fasting and prayer and consecration building your spirit man 